realization that this hoodie is just not okay in this weather at all. It's just too hot still. and welcome back to my youtube channel if you are new here remember to click that subscribe box and give this video a massive thumbs up now for today's video i am back and we're starting off the back to school series of 2018 technically though i'm not going back to school i am going to sixth so, form as you know last year i finished my last year of secondary school i did my gcse's i was the first year for most of them apart from maths and english but yeah i'm not going to be sitting here saying the exams are easy but they are manageable trust me they are manageable and even though all the content we learn not all of it comes up it's still like worth it it's a good experience in a way and it definitely creates you to learn stuff that you never thought you would now year 11 for me was a weird year now i'm not going to say it's easy and i wasn't going to say it's the worst year it was a mixed bag but what i can tell you is year 11 does go really quickly so when the teachers say oh year 11 is going to go really quick and you're thinking no it's not it really does and it does exhaust you it does stress you out but it really is manageable honestly now i started the year year 11 in an alright mood, I was doing okay, but because of the, like the mental health support ritual, it kind of hit me and took a toll on me. However, what I want to say is, if you are struggling with your mental health, then don't focus so much on your grades. Now I know you're like, I want to get like the top grades. It doesn't really matter, and it's not the end of the world. I know the teachers make it out to be the end of the world. Your friends could make it out to be the end of the world. It's really not that. Like, it, there were only basic qualifications ready for you to make be like higher and a further qualifications degree, apprenticeships, whatnot. And the list goes on really because there are so many like higher qualifications and GCSEs that you don't really need to worry about them apart from like maths and English at the end of the day. And if you don't get it first time round, there's always another chance. And I know you're like thinking, but I don't want to retake but it's okay like we all eventually get there we all are at different stages some of us are aiming for straight nines some of us are aiming just for like fives it's okay now you make a lot of progress in year 11 honestly you're thinking year 10 you may be like failing everything by the end you will pass and i can prove it because i failed this exam first time round for my health and fitness i got a b the second time round, and i'm so happy one thing I can tell you is do not revise every single day. You don't need to do it. Plan your revision day by day. Just make it like, because you, sometimes you won't follow it. Sometimes you'll feel awful. And if you don't plan it day by day and you plan it weeks by like so and so forward and you miss the day, you, you feel really guilty and like you feel like the world is like coming down on you when really it's not. So I recommend creating a timetable the day by day and like going off a checklist, ticking it off and you'll be making resources as you look, go along. So when you start year 11 in September, when you come home from school, just make some notes. Maybe take your school book home. But if your teacher like needs the market and whatnot, then don't do that. But create like sticky notes in your book so like you are prepared and you're going along through the year. But if you don't want to do that then i recommend if you haven't made any resources in year 10 or you've got bits to catch up on then start creating the resources from that first because you tend to forget information which you haven't like read or seen much um older but you do remember a lot of stuff and you may think you don't but you honestly do oh in your um in year 11 i realized a lot of people compare each other so when you get your mock results you may think oh my god i haven't done as well as this person has but it doesn't really matter if you're happy with the grades you want and you know you're succeeding in your targets then it doesn't really matter if you're not getting top marks it's, there's no point in comparing 
each other. We all have different expectations, different dreams and goals and ambitions. We're all different people. And that's the one thing that we all tend to forget and we all tend to compare each other when really we shouldn't. Now, I said to my friends the other day, whatever happens, whatever results we get, we should all just celebrate the year of how it went because it's the last time we'll probably see each other and it's a good way to say thank you for like being there. Talking about revision, I was organised and I definitely recommend getting your revision like all your books, folders, notes, pens, highlighters, flashcards and whatnot now because it's like the back to school stuff are in shops and when you go through the year a lot of the stuff gets out of stock so you, pa you may start to panic and whatnot so do get it all now and then you're prepared. Another thing I recommend is to take a day off whether that's once a week you may feel like you need to revise about two hours a day set yourself for like a maximum if you just don't feel like doing that some day but don't force yourself to revise when you don't want to no there are a lot of study youtubers out there and people are thinking oh my god i need to be like them and i need to get the top grades you don't i as you know i do suffer with mental health so i do struggle from time to time and i am sort of paying the consequences eight weeks into my summer holidays anyway but what i mean is Put yourself first, your physical and mental health. Don't make yourself really ill because you're just so stressed out and like, oh my God, I need to revise. And that's one thing I did and I truly wish I didn't. But I've learned from it and hopefully I will be different when I sit my A-levels quickly. So listen to your teachers, follow their advice, do your homework, stay on track and you will do well. I promise you that. Now it is like coming we've got about three weeks left or our summer holidays for some of us i don't know when a lot of you go back or whatnot but what i say is spend the last three weeks i think it's three weeks just doing a bit of resources now i don't mean put it into your timetable but if you have a free day you've got no plans when it comes to the day do and you've got a bit of homework do it but don't make it like a chore or like you have to do it every day or like at least all the time of your summer holiday no go and spend it with time friends family what if you have groups go to them enjoy it and this is what i mean is when it comes to like year 11 don't waste your time do you revise i definitely recommend revising but also spend time for yourself whether that's whatever you love to do whether it's go to the cinema go bowling reading writing drawing whatever you love to do whether it's photography as well enjoy it and spend a, like a few hours a week doing what you love to do because that's honestly the best thing ever and it gives yourself to rewind and jump back into reality that you need to look after yourself treat yourself it it actually helps you more than you think and you're thinking but i'm not revising so i've not got any information in it actually does because it gives your brain a chance to relax and absorb the information that you've learned from that day or week or whatever and you feel better like even exercising actually helps you quite a bit but yeah in year 11 there will be drama and there will be arguments or the beef but at the same time you need to remove yourself from that situation if you want to do well don't let anybody stop you from doing that follow your dreams and take your GCSEs and whatever grades that you want into your hands like don't let anyone stop you I know there will be people still immature we're still like you're about 15 16 so some people are going to be immature they want to start a drama they want the fights the arguments that's what we all love and I've come to realize that I don't like that if there's an argument that I get involved in I just don't want to be in the situation I want to remove myself but then there are people that just love to ration. If there's a problem in class, talk to your teachers because they are there for you. If there are interventions, go to them because even though some people may talk and mess around, you may have a laugh with your teachers, you're also doing a bit of revision and that can be very, very useful. I just want you to remember that GCSEs aren't the end of the world if you don't get what you want. 
but to remember that yourself comes first make you yourself a priority and don't let anyone let you down or get you down because at the end of the day it's your life and you can do whatever you want with it set your expectations and ambitions and do start to revise early but don't do it intensely because you will exhaust yourself out and that is one thing i did far too early on and now i am paying the consequences but yeah i hope you did enjoy the video and if you are going to year 11 this year then i wish you all the best the best way you revise very early on so whether that's flashcards mind maps uh listening to music and if you do listen to music while you're revising, make sure there's no words in it because I know listening to songs can be very catchy and you may sing it whereas you want the information in your head more. So we all learn differently. We're all different people. Bye! Feeling in the sunrise Even in the night time It's hard to adjust now